In our quadratic functions course, we must learn how to graph a parabola from a second degree equation of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The first step is to find the a, the b, the c, find the direction of the parabola, and find the y-intercept. My equation for example 1 is y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 1. Let's begin to graph it. In example 1, y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 1. a is the numerical coefficient of our first term, a equals 2. b is the numerical coefficient of the second term, b equals negative 3. C is the numerical coefficient of the third term, C equals negative 1. This tells us a couple of important things about our parabola. Since A is 2, A is positive, A is greater than 0. And if A is greater than 0, that means our parabola opens upwards. C equals negative 1. This is all we need to know to know what our y-intercept is going to be. If C equals negative 1, our y-intercept is 0, negative 1. Let's put that y-intercept into the table of values as our first point. 0, negative 1. And let's graph it. In this graph, each of these little dashes represents one unit. So 0, negative 1 will be right here. This is our A, B, C, the direction of our parabola, and our y-intercept for example 1. This is what equation 1 looks like after finding the A, the B, the C, the direction of the curve, and the y-intercept. My equation for example 2 is y equals negative 2x squared plus 5x minus 2. Let's get started. In example 2, the equation is y equals negative 2x squared plus 5x minus 2. Our a is the numerical coefficient of the first term. a equals negative 2. Our b is the numerical coefficient of the second term. Our b equals 5. And our c is the numerical coefficient of the third term. c equals negative 2. a is negative 2 a is less than 0. And when a is less than 0, our parabola opens downwards. c equals negative 2. Therefore, our y-intercept is 0, negative 2. I'll show the y-intercept in the table of values and on the graph. This is the ABC direction of curve and y-intercept for example 2. This is what example 2 looks like after we find our A, our B, our C, the direction of the curve, and the y-intercept. Here is my equation for example 3. y equals 4x squared minus 4x plus 4. Let's start graphing it. Let's find the ABC, the direction and the y-intercept for example 3. y equals 4x squared minus 4x plus 4. The A, the B and the C 
are the numerical coefficients of our first, second, and third terms. So, A equals 4, B equals negative 4, C equals 4. A is positive. It's greater than 0. Therefore, the direction of the curve is upwards. C equals 4, therefore our y-intercept is 0, 4. Let's put this into the table of values and on the graph. This is the A, B, C, the direction of curve, and the y-intercept for example 3. This is what equation 3 looks like after finding the A, the B, the C, the direction of the parabola, and the y-intercept. In example 4, my equation is y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 4. Let's begin to graph it. In equation 4, y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 4. My a is the numerical coefficient of the first term. a is equal to negative 1. b is the numerical coefficient of the second term. b is equal to 4. c equals the numerical coefficient of the third term. c equals negative 4. a is negative 1, which is less than 0. Therefore, a opens downwards. C is equal to negative 4. Therefore, our y-intercept is 0, negative 4. Let's put this in our table. 0, negative 4. And on our graph. This graph is scaled so that each square on the graph is equal to two units. This is how you find the A, B, C, the direction of the curve, and the y-intercept for a problem. This is what example four looks like after we find A, B, C, the direction of the curve, and the y-intercept. Be sure to watch the next video in the process of graphing a parabola, finding the discriminant delta.